In an alarming incident, a 12-year-old girl, Emma Brown, shot her father before fatally shooting herself as part of a seemingly planned murder pact with a friend. Emma targeted her father, Daniel Brown, 38, at their residence in Poolville, Texas, approximately 30 miles from Fort Worth, on September 20, 2022. She succumbed to her self-inflicted injuries two days later at the hospital. Emma, a 7th grade student, along with another unidentified 12-year-old girl from Lufkin, Texas, had allegedly planned to murder their entire families and pets. However, how these two girls met remains unclear. The local district attorney's office confirmed the second girl involved was charged with conspiracy to commit murder. As of now, the details of her sentence remain undisclosed due to laws protecting the identity of juveniles involved in crimes. The final disposition of the case took place on March 14, 2023. Emma, after shooting her father, had reportedly planned to travel 230 miles to meet her friend before heading to Georgia. Unfortunately, she only managed to run a few hundred yards down her driveway before shooting herself. Police found her lying on a dirt road with a handgun under her body. The aftermath of the incident saw a no trespassing sign appearing at the front of the family home. It's also worth noting that the girl's father held an FFL license, which allowed him to store and sell firearms at the family home. Daniel was discharged from the hospital soon after the event and is expected to make a full recovery. The cause of Emma's death was ruled as suicide by the local medical examiner's office, and her autopsy report has been sealed. The second 12-year-old girl believed to be involved in planning the shooting was taken into custody and charged with conspiracy to commit murder. It is yet unknown why the two young girls wanted to execute such a drastic plan. This incident acts as a sobering reminder for parents to monitor their children's friendships and social interactions, both in person and on various digital platforms. Due to privacy protection for minors, the identities of the girls and the wounded father are not being publicly released.